I'm Ms. Artastic, and in this episode, we're going to be drawing one of my absolute favorite characters, my favorite movie. This is Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. <gasps> Beetle. Don't say the name three times! Oh my goodness. But we're gonna be drawing Beetlejuice in this episode. So let's make some art. excited to draw Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice is my favorite movie of all time. I absolutely love it, so let's get started in drawing one of my favorite characters ever. So we're gonna begin with Beetlejuice's head. So we're gonna draw some zigzag lines that go up and then down. We're just kind of doing the crown of the head there. And then we're gonna bring it down around and back up. So kind of like a, a kind of like a squared off U shape there at the bottom. Next, we're going to draw uh, two curving lines down on each side. And then we'll connect with another curve at the bottom, just a slight curve at the bottom there. From there, we're gonna draw two lines that come in on an angle. Then we'll have two upside down U's for where we're gonna put the shoes. And then we're going to simply connect both the parts at the bottom and draw a line up the center. We'll draw two curving lines on either side for where we're gonna put arms. Connect them back towards the body. We'll draw long U's for thumbs on either side. And then a curving line that comes down and connects back in for the hands. We'll finish the shoes with just two curving lines at the bottom for now. All right, we're gonna head back up towards the top of the body so that way we can work on Beetlejuice's head. So let's do that next. Okay, we need to give Beetlejuice some wild hair. He's very known for this very wild hair. So we're gonna draw a couple zigzag lines out here and there and even give some some bends. We want to make it quite wild. But before I get too crazy, I'm going to add a couple ears here. So I'm just going to add a curving line on each side before I forget on our poltergeist. Our very enthusiastic poltergeist. Don't say his name. Okay, and then I'm gonna fill in the other areas with just some smaller triangles, overlapping, or some zigzag zig zig lines, pardon me. So there's some zigzags here at the bottom. It's kind of a mess, right? He's Came out of the dirt. Kind of got a messy situation happening. <laughs> uh, so fun, I love it. Okay, on some of these bigger areas, we're gonna draw a second line along the bottom. And that will be for some variation in color. You can also add a few hatching lines. Put some shadows on those layers. Super fun. Next we're gonna draw Beetlejuice's face. So we're gonna draw two eyebrows. We're gonna go bend it down 
up and over on either side. And we'll use our fine edge or whatever you're using to draw with just to add some lines going up for our eyebrows. We'll draw two another more curving lines between the eyes. Then we'll draw a curving line up and over in each eye socket and connect with a curving line below. We're gonna add pupils, so we'll add a curving line on the inside of each. And in each one, we're gonna add one big and one small circle. And then I'm gonna color just a smaller dark circle around those two. So we're gonna have where the retina is, and then the pupil will be around that to complete it, if that makes sense. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna add a nose, I'm gonna add a uh, U with two nostrils on either side. We're gonna add bags under the eyes, so it's kind of as dark, a very dark circles around Beetlejuice's eyes. We're gonna map that out and we'll color it in dark a little bit later. So we wanna make sure we're gonna map out where the darker areas are gonna be around the eyes because it's gonna have that harsh, dark, kind of dead looking. <laughs> <laughs> areas around around the eyes. All right, we're gonna make him have a crazy smile. So we're gonna have a nice big wide smile there and we'll add two U's on the corners of the mouth. We'll connect the bottom with a wide U shape. And we're gonna add some teeth. So we're gonna add zigzag lines across the top. That looks like Chucky at the moment. <laughs> that is not my favorite show. I'm just gonna put that out there. And then we're gonna tuck a little tongue in the back here, like that. This version of Beetlejuice is not a Tim Burton Beetlejuice at all. It's a little, it's a little friendly. <laughs> Oh, Beetlejuice is kind of a funny, quirky movie, isn't it? It's not, it's not the scariest scary movies. It's kind of quirky. I think that's why I like it. It's just silly and quirky. Mm hmm. At least the original. Haven't seen the new one yet as of right now because it's only August and it doesn't come out till September. And I'm gonna be going to the movie theaters. I don't go to the movie theaters ever but this is gonna be one time I'm going, I'm gonna go. I'm so excited. All right, let's add a tongue here. So he does wear this lovely black and white striped suit. I'm super obsessed with it. I love those black and white stripes. And we're gonna add, so we'll add the tongue, uh, tie down there and then we're gonna add the folds of the jackets on either side. So we'll zigzag line out in out and down and straight line down there for the folds of the jacket and then we're gonna just make some stripes so we're gonna have stripes down the jacket they're quite thick so I'm gonna use my thick end of marker I'm gonna have to do a double line double thick to make it thick enough And then we're gonna go, oh, I should fix up this. Okay, and then we're gonna go across up here. So on the sleeves, we'll go 
across. And I'm gonna do double thick. Same on the pants, we're gonna do some stripes. I'm gonna do them a little bit more narrow so they stand out compared to the rest of the suit. I really want this suit. Like a, a, woman's, a woman's pants suit, but Beetlejuice. I want it so bad. It's just what I want in life. I think I would be very happy if I could find one. I've looked, I've have, I have similar black and white stripe outfits, but not. This specific. Okay, we'll add some shoe details. Oh yeah, he has some moss and stuff growing on his head. So we're gonna add some tufts of that on there. You know, maybe some on his hair. Couple little dings there. Adding my own flavor here at this point. My own artist flavor! That's important. You gotta add your own artist flavor all the time. It's real important. Okay, um, other artist flavor ideas you could do. You could add some little fine lines here and there. Mm hmm. Do we want some stripes on these tie? Maybe. I don't think it does have any, but I'm adding some because that's artist flavor. Plus, look how nice that looks. You can add some fine lines here and there, and go around the head, like that. Just adds a little bit of character. Isn't that nice? If you don't like that look, you don't have to do it. You make your artwork the way you want. That's important. Add some more hair detail here. Getting real carried away. All right, I should stop. I should stop, can't stop myself, it's so hard. Okay. Oh yeah, look at that. We got Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Gotta stop myself. I almost said it three times. Okay, Ooh, I got marker on me. Mr. Beetlejuice, we need to add some, some, some color on you. Do I have, oh yeah, I do got some Beetlejuice colors hiding. Gonna pull out all my greens because I'm gonna need them. Because I'm not sure which ones I want to use quite yet. Quite yet. Is this a nice pale? That might be. Is this yellow? Ivory. It might be a good, slightly poltergeist color. All right. Let's just see what color this is. I want to start off with the face. Oh yeah, nice and pale. Okay, I'm gonna go with this first. And then I'm gonna add some gray on top. I need it to be quite, quite pale. So I'm just gonna add, and you can use whatever art making mediums you want to fill this in. It's really up to you. Do what makes you happy. I'm gonna go with a nice light color first. Uh-huh, I like it. Oh, ears. Did not add any ear details. Hello. There we go. Okay, I like that, but it's a little too nice. A little too nice and cheerful. So we're gonna add some gray on top, and that's gonna make it a little bit more spooky. Spooky. That's what we're going for. We are a ghost after all, hello. That's a little better. A little shady shady. Okay, but those eyes need to be a lot darker than that. Mm. Ah, I'm gonna use this gray shade, I think. Second gray layer. Okay, 
I need a really, oh, here's a nice dark gray. Okay, I'm gonna take my dark gray and I'm gonna go around these eyes. We're gonna make this spooky. I'm also gonna add some shading around the nose for a cast shadow. I'm also gonna use it on the eyebrows here and a little layer along the bottom as kind of like another layer of shadows around the face. Some of these mossy bits. Imagine having a mossy face. Interesting. Okay, I'm also gonna color the shoes with this. Nice and maybe I'm gonna do the shirt in the back Okay, I like it. I'm gonna add a shadow on this suit so on the bottom. We got mossy greeny hair, but also kind of whitey. So we're gonna do, leave some white and add some green here and there. So I'm gonna do light green in the hair. I'm gonna do the moss that's like growing on him a little darker so that way they look different. But I wanna keep some highlights in the hair because it's quite fluffy and light. So we are gonna keep a little bit of that white in there. So I'm on purpose not coloring the whole way through, right? So I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave some of this up here white, just so that way um, it looks like the light's catching it and creates some highlights. Okay, I'm also gonna bring this green onto the sides of the face that is true to the character. He has some on his hands, a couple stains, little grass stains on his clothes. Maybe I'll do the bottoms of his shoes green as well. That might be nice. Okay, I'm gonna use a darker green, or maybe I'll use a couple greens for this moss so we have some differentiation. So I'll do some, some colors and some a more brighter green. And I'm also gonna leave a little bit of weight on the tops of some of them for some highlights. That will be nice. Maybe I can even use this green for like a sh Ooh. Oh, I love this combination. I'm using this to go over this gray here to make a nice, rich green shadow. 
Ooh, I like it. I didn't expect that to turn out so well. And my friend, it sure did. Isn't that nice? I love this drawing so much because I love Beetlejuice so much. Such a great show. I'm literally obsessed. I can't even, I've been counting down years for this to come out. I've been waiting for everybody to, the rumor mill. It's gonna happen, it's not gonna happen. Just make it. And now they are, and I'm literally losing my mind. It's gonna be really hard for me to sleep in the next little while, waiting for this to come out. I'm gonna be real right now. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Literally obsessed. Why did I call those other ones green? No idea, but now I'm gonna have to do all of them. Whoopsie! One up here. Oh yeah! What color is his eyes? It's just normal human colors. Oh, it's actually quite a bit darker around here. I think I'm gonna get my pencil crayon. Uh-huh. I'm gonna get a black pencil crayon. I'm gonna add some shading. We're gonna go a little extra today. A little extra, we're gonna add Another lip medium here. I'm just gonna add a little light shading around those eyes. That's gonna look good. Just coloring very gently in circles here. Touring on that face. Okay. I'm gonna do the eyes and this nice brown here. Mm-hmm. I like it. Oh, the tongue. We gotta do something about that situation. We're gonna go pink. it I'm in I'm in love with this drawing I really I really like it a lot and that's all that matters is if you love your own art that's really all that matters well my friend I hope you enjoyed creating Beetlejuice with me I sure literally had a ton of fun this is for sure my favorite one of my favorite drawings ever yeah I love it love it so 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 much and it's making me more excited for Beetlejuice to come out. I can't, I can't even wait. I just can't even wait, it's gonna be so good. I just know it, I'm just, I know it. It's gonna be one of the greatest things that has happened in 2024. So <laughs> I'm super excited and I hope you enjoyed this too, this as well. If you drew this Beetlejuice, please share your drawing on social media and take me at MizArtastic so I can check it out. I would be so genuinely excited to see Well, my friend, thank you so much for drawing Beetlejuice with me. I hope you had a ton of fun. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to the channel. I have a new video coming out every single week. Our next episode is another Beetlejuice flavored one. So if you like this, we're drawing the sandworm next week. Oh yeah. So make sure you subscribe right now so you don't miss out. And I will see you in that episode for full art project tutorials. Head on over to artastickids.com and join the Artastic, Kid me Artastic Kids membership. There you'll find hundreds of art lessons, full art tutorials to stream directly to your favorite device. See you in the next episode.